you were a high school speech champion. Yeah. Is that right? It is. Is that something you're, I mean, are you proud of that? I mean, I think I have to be. <laughs> I think it's one of those things that's like, you better actually act like this is something that you're cool with rather than like. I think it's a good thing. I yeah. think it's a wonderful thing. And I was like too shy to audition for plays. And so the speech team was not debate. It's not like people pretending to be like Lincoln Douglas right. or whatever. Whatever. I actually have no idea what that is. Right, yeah, right. that's just too boring for me to understand. But um, but it's it's like theater dorks who cut a play down to ten minutes and do all of the characters, and then that turns into a competition. Oh, okay. Yeah. So and you were a champion. I was a champion. Were you a champion the whole time, like all the way through, like uh, the end of your high school career? Well. Sort of, except that like I was not, I didn't, ha I wasn't like super popular in high school. I wanted to party, I wanted a boyfriend, those things didn't happen to me. And then at the very end of high school, like I kind of got my window, but I was supposed to go to the national speech team championship. And it was like, oh, I can either go to this speech team championship and be alone or go to these parties and maybe like French kiss people. Right. Obviously. Plural. And, yeah. <laughs> Baker's dozen. Yeah. Um, but so I, I was like, I'm not, I told my parents, like, I'm not going to the national championship. Right. And my dad got so mad at me and was like, you're letting the teen down. And, and I, in my one moment of teen rage, I mean, I've had many teen rage moments, like, in my late 20s, but the only one that happened <laughs> in my teen You were not a rebel. No. You were not rebellious, but this was your moment where you snapped. That's right. And I was like, I did this, I did that. When will it ever be good enough? Whoa! <laughs> to your dad. Uh, yeah, but then here's what happened. You dropped the F-bomb with your dad. With F my you. dad. And then he looks at me. My dad is like, do not be a bitch unless you want to see what a bitch looks like. <laughs> and so he stood in the doorway of my, my childhood dressing room and he went, <laughs> no, Jen. <laughs> you. <laughs> so I was like, why, 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 why? <laughs> well, wow. Clearly. Clearly, neither one of you needed to study debate. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You. Yeah, well, at you. Whoa! Yeah. Who saw that coming? Yeah, that's right. That's not what a dad's supposed to do, I think, in that situation. Not but... at all. Yeah. But that sounds all right to me. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, uh, sure. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. fine. It's, it's fine. Yeah. 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 yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>